Noco tutorial for Noco HQ. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to send and create beautifully designed and professional emails using SendGrid and Bubble. So if you created um, a Bubble application already, you might know that automatically it allows you to send emails to users automatically on schedule or whatever. Um, but these emails, to be honest, they don't look nice. It's just a simple email as if you would have typed it yourself. And what I want to show you today is how to use an external um, email pro service, uh, which is SendGrid, which Bubble natively also um, uses and integrates with, and how we're going to send emails using SendGrid, which have a nice design, and also using dynamic data, which you can then in turn use to create your own internal newsletter using just SendGrid and Bubble without using any external newsletter program. And it's uh, very advised that you combine this tutorial with our other tutorial, which is um, building an internal newsletter system. So if you combine these two tutorials, you will basically be able to recreate your own um, complete newsletter software um, just using Bubble and SendGrid. And SendGrid is something you might want to use anyway for Bubble. If you send a lot of emails, you will need a paid account there. Um, so yeah, and you don't have to pay for any other email service. So how are we gonna do this? So first of all, obviously you need a Bubble app, you need a Bubble application, and you need a SendGrid account. And um, you can use the free account of them as well, it will work the same. Um, and we're gonna start off by being here in Bubble. So what you will need is you will need the SendGrid plugin by Copilot. Very great plugin, also very great plugin creator Copilot. So shout out to them at this uh, point, um, which gives you more functionality um, for SendGrid. Um, you, you could use Bubble, Bubble's way of using SendGrid, which is just applying a template. But this plugin allows you to add dynamic data as well and just give, gives you more, yeah, room for um, doing things and I highly recommend it to download it or install it. It's free. So just search for SendGrid and install this plugin. So after you install this, you will have to enter your API key from SendGrid, which you can generate. So I won't show you this plugin tab here now, but it will just ask you for the API key. So really straightforward. And then you will have access. So for example, let's say on a button click. Okay. Um, let's center there. We can say, all right, when this is pressed, let's call that send email. Okay. When this is pressed, we can we now have access to an action which should be under email uh, or no, actually it should be under plugins. It should be SendGrid, send email. As you can see, you have a few things. You have SendGrid API, SendGrid, um, uh, create a contact, create lists um, and send custom emails and so on. We're just going to focus. Oh, we're just going to focus on the um, SendGrid, send email standard um, functionality. Okay, so let's click on that. And what will happen is you will have this big uh, window here where you can define all things. So you can already see, okay, it asks us for a template ID, what type of template. I'm going to take a look at all of that now in a second. So let's head over to SendGrid. Okay, and I'm in my dashboard here right now. That's the one for Nokia HQ actually. Um, and if you go under M email API, there's two kinds of templates, dynamic templates and legacy templates. We're going to work with legacy templates here now. Um, dynamic templates work as well. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead here on legacy template. We want to create a template and we're going to just call it, I'm just going to call it demo video. Okay. Let's click save and we have to add a version and it will ask us design or code. Um, you can use code in code editor if you already have a code template, um, but we're going to go with design, which is a bit more intuitive. Okay. And now you're in the design tab of SendGrid. I'm not going to go too much into details on how this works. You can watch SendGrid tutorials um, probably on their site, but it's basically a really simple way to design a website, sorry, to design an email. So what you can do, you can drag images here. So let's drag an image here. Um, it asks you which image you want to use. Okay. So I have this library here. I'm just going to use my, uh, the Noco HQ logo. Okay. So we have the Noco HQ logo here. Let's drag that above the text or actually let's drag this below Noco HQ. All right. We have a text here. Let's maybe also, you could use the image and text, which will have the image at the left side and the text on the right side. Yeah. You can use things like spacers to create space. 
you can have social links okay and connect your social links um yeah create all kinds of fonts and so on and so forth so a lot of a lot of things you can do use columns obviously buttons which is quite helpful call to actions um and so on and so forth and you can also add custom code if you want to embed maybe a youtube video or something like that you can do that go ahead and define style so what should be the background color you can make it black okay um, you can change the text color make the font maybe bigger if you want to do that and so on and so forth okay so let's just try that out i'm just going to delete to the body and let's just click save template okay and i'm going to copy this id here which you see demo video copy this id and now what you want to do here in this plugin you want to say all right the type is in our case legacy template id is this here our content subject is this is a test and then you can define everything from name i'm going to say all right no hq uh, from email address it's going to be info at no hq.com all right obviously two email address okay so we're going to say also this should be sent to info at no code let me just copy that here you can add carbon copy and blind carbon copy email addresses and substitution text we're going to take a look at that in a second but let's just see if this works now so you will also need to add an unsubscribe group id um, and you can do that here under under set on your sender dashboard what you want to do you want to go into you want to go into suppressions and you want to go here and you want to go into your group unsubscribes and copy the unsubscribe code okay um or actually let's go here global unsubscribe here unsubscribe group sorry and you want to create a new group a new unsubscriber group just copy that id here um and i'm going to paste that here and that's it so let's just go ahead and preview that and what i'm going to do i'm just going to click on send email and let's see what happens okay so it's loading and I'm just going to open my email program simultaneously. All right, great. So as you can see, worked perfectly fine. Um, we got this email from Noko HQ. This is a test with the logo here, the image here, the text here, our call to action text and the unsubscribe. Obviously, it doesn't look perfect. That's something you would have to work on in the SendGrid um, editor. Put some margins here, um, make the centered, clean up things and so on and so forth. But as you can see, it took us literally I think five minutes to make an email which is looks already nice if you know what i mean it, there's a images there's a button call to action button you can obviously add much more things our social element here is hidden because i didn't add any social links but you get the gist of it, it already works okay so if you want to send static emails which are always the same okay so we'll always have the same content that's all you would have to do create a template trigger the action here in bubble maybe on the back end, um, watch our other tutorial for this, do a newsletter, um, or of course, um, every time a user signs up, send a welcome email, whatever you wanna do, okay? And what I wanna show you now is how to use substitution tags. So let's go back to SendGrid. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to our legacy templates and we're gonna go back to our template that we created and go ahead and edit this. And what I wanna do now is I wanna just add a text here maybe, let's add a text bit on top of that like this yeah it doesn't matter now and what you can do you can add dynamic data so how are you going to do this you're going to say okay for example hello name comma thank you for subscribing to plan so what did i do here these curly brackets, so two opening, two closing, and then in the middle is the variable name, you can call it whatever you like, allows us to define that these values should be dynamic. And we're gonna define what they are via bubble, and this will be filled out then. So if we provide the name to be Samuel, it will be hello Samuel. If we provide the name to be whatever, any name, it will say hello Samuel, thank you for subscribing to premium or whatever it is. So this allows us to insert dynamic data. This was all static. This will be the same for all email. This will here depend on what we send in the email. And that's all you have to do. Use these curly brackets, give this a name, obviously use different names, okay? And then what you wanna do is we're gonna keep everything the same. We're just gonna go here to substitution tags, set another key value, and we're gonna say, all right, for this email, we wanna say that, what was it? Name, name is Samuel. 
All right. And obviously, um, you would use in real life scenario dynamic data here because what I'm doing doesn't make sense. I'm gonna I'm gonna hard code that. But what you want would want to do is use the current user's name or the signed up user's name or whatever you want to do. And let's also use the substitution tag plan. Oops. Um, let's say Samuel subscribe to our plan, which is called premium. All right. And this data is now sent over via the API to SendGrid and should be populated in this template. So let's save that again, okay? And let's preview that again and let's see if the email works out. Okay, small mistake, um, uh, my fault. I uh, mixed up legacy and dynamic. Um, so I just changed that. You actually wanna take away the curly brackets. Um, this is something for dynamic templates. So this is a difference you will have to keep in mind. For a legacy template, it's actually enough to just have the plain substitution tag. Be careful that you don't reuse name in this case, again, in the text statically, if you know what I mean. So maybe use something more precise for your substitution tag. But for this, all we need to do is hello name. Thank you for subscribing to plan. And if we go again here, we see it say, okay, name is Samuel, plan is premium. Let's actually change the name to, I don't know, um, Maria. Okay, let's preview that now. And let's click on send email. And I have my email program open here next to me. And yes, it worked. So we just got the email here. Hello, Maria. Thank you for subscribing to Premium, which is exactly what we told Bubble here to send over Maria and Premium. Um, again, you don't want to use um, um, dynamic data in most use cases. Um, but yeah, a simple way to send over dynamic data in emails, make them beautiful using SendGrid and Bubble. Um, you can choose between legacy and dynamic templates. Um, again, make sure that you um, keep in mind the differences in the substitution tags within SendGrid themselves. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Um, I hope you learned something and I'm going to see you guys for the next tutorial of NoCoHQ. Bye.